how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well this is my google pixel 7 pro and i have already installed the latest android 14 beta 3 on my phone even though there are so many cool features added with the release of android 14 one of the most popular feature that everyone is talking about is the lock screen customization with that being said, in today's video, let's compare this revamped Pixel lock screen with one of the most customizable Android skin that is the UI 5.1. Guys, stay tuned and watch this video till the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, let me show you what are the new lock screen features added in Google Pixel and then we will talk about the Samsung's UI 5.1. In my Pixel 7 Pro, I now get this brand new customized lock screen tab at the bottom of my screen and if I click on it, it's gonna ask me to unlock my phone and once that is done, we have this brand new lock screen customization menu that will help you to customize your phone's lock screen and take it to the next level. There are a lot of different clock faces that you can choose from and I really like how beautiful they look on your lock screen. These are exclusive to your Pixel phone and they are absolutely stunning to look at. Apart from this, you can also change the color of this clock depending on the wallpaper which you have applied on your lock screen and it even lets you to increase or decrease the size as well. Now the next thing you can do is, you can obviously change the lock screen wallpaper directly from this menu and the best part is, you can configure and add different shortcuts to your lock screen. Previously Google does not allow you to change and configure the lock screen shortcuts but now you can access your camera, put your phone in mute and even you can toggle the flashlight directly from your lock screen. That's pretty much it when it comes to lock screen customization. I think Google did an excellent job adding these amazing features and I absolutely love these clock faces. Especially when you are using the always on display, you get this beautiful transition and all these clock faces looks great even on your always on screen. Now it's time to talk about the Samsung's One UI 5.1. All I have to do is I just need to long press on the lock screen and scan my fingerprint. Here I've got all the customizations related to the lock screen. First you can go ahead and change the clock style but the clock faces that you get here is quite limited when compared to the Pixel 7 Pro. If you really want to unlock more clock styles then you need to install the good lock application but by default you only get these options which is very limited and I hope Samsung will add more different styles in the upcoming One UI 6. Apart from this you can also change the size and color of this clock. Now unlike the stock Android, Samsung even lets you to add some really useful widgets onto your lock screen. You can add music, weather widget, then you can add your alarms and digital well-being widget which basically shows you how many hours have you used your phone. Once you are done, you just need to tap on this clock to access all those widgets. Other than this, I also like how Samsung gives us the freedom to add your favorite app shortcuts in the lock screen. In my Pixel 7 Pro, I can only toggle the flashlight or access the camera but when it comes to Samsung, I can access my most used applications directly from my lock screen. Now these are all the features that you get without having to install the GoodLock application. In case you already have GoodLock installed on your phone, then you can do lot more with the help of LockStar module. You can actually change the position of each and every element that appears on your lock screen. You can also disable the status bar, add up to 6 applications onto your lock screen for easier access. And there are so many cool features that you get inside this module to customize your lock screen even further. Guys, I absolutely love what Google did with Android 14. They added some really nice features with beautiful looking clock faces. But Samsung's One UI still offers way more features and with the help of good lock, you can take your lock screen to the next level. The only thing I want from Samsung is that they should definitely add more clock faces in the upcoming One UI 6. But apart from that, Samsung still offers way more features than the Google Pixel 7 Pro. So that's pretty much it for this video. Do let me know in the comment section which UI do you prefer, whether it's stock Android or the Samsung's One UI 5.1. And if you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.